Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. I'm here with Amanda Davis. She's our public relations uh, director and she's going to explain to us the rollout of the new uh, faculty IDs. So we're super excited that we will be offering faculty IDs this year. That's something that the uh, employees have asked for and then also um, public. It can, it's kind of nice to be able to know who... We had them several years ago. Yes. Yes. Changing different systems. We So thank you all for coming in and following the schedule and letting us take those photos. Um, Braden Pickett is here and we have our new ID printer. We're going to be able to print everything in-house. And so he actually, we're going to start either this afternoon or tomorrow working on rolling those out. Once we get an entire staff IDs uh, printed, we will bring those to the, um, to the site and we will exchange those with you personally. Now, exchange if, the key fobs? The key fobs. Okay. So if you have access to a door within the district right now, if you're an employee and you have access to a front door or a kitchen door or whatever that may be, you're going to continue to have that same access, but you're not going to use your key fob anymore. You're going to use your ID, the keyless entry on the ID, and you'll just touch your ID up to the keyless entry point, and then the doors will unlock just like using a key fob. And so when they we use multiple, go to multiple sites, it works just the same. It'll be just the same. So everything that's on your key fob is actually going to be on your ID card as well. Awesome. So when we get to the site, we'll just exchange those. We'll the principals will know. We'll set up a time and we'll come in and we'll exchange those one by one with you. Um, okay, and they get. Well, we're going to supply the first one for them. Yes. Uh, tell the process if they happen to lose it or maybe just misplace it. So it's very important if you do lose it or you misplace it or you're not sure where it is or it gets washed or whatever and you need help to let us know immediately. You can um, contact your supervisor, your principal, your director, um, and then they will call and let us know. We'll turn that key fob off uh, inside that card. We'll turn that key card off and then we will issue a new card. A new card will be $5 um, just to help to upkeep with the card. The cards with the chip in them are, are kind of expensive and so um, just to help us keep up with that cost. Yeah, and that's for safety reasons. We want to make sure those keys are turned off immediately. Yes, we don't want somebody to have access to the buildings that aren't supposed to have access. I'm excited also we're going to also offer the cards without the key entry to other staff members or uh, volunteers. Yes, so you know I know some of you have been shopping several different places offer a discount if you can show a school ID. Um, and so you'll have that school ID now to show but as well. It also helps, that is your ticket into student um, events. So high school, junior high, intermediate school, ball games, those kind of things. You get, um, like we've always done about this, you and a guest get in free to that event with your school ID. And so now our substitutes and um, volunteers who are here on a regular basis are also going to have IDs that say Athens Public Schools. They'll look very similar to ours, but they'll be a different color, a brighter color down at the bottom, a red or a yellow, something like that, that says volunteer or substitute so that they we know they're in our building, they have permission to be in our building, and they're here all the time. They just will not have the keyless entry. Exactly, so they just don't have access to our doors. Awesome, I think it's gonna be great. And uh, if there's any problems, they just need to talk to their supervisor and or their principal, and then we'll go through you and it's gonna, uh, be a painless uh, process, hopefully, uh, but just be patient with us and it's gonna be very beneficial and main thing is it keeps us all a little bit safer. Yes. All right, thank you. I'm also very excited with the purchase of this new ID system. We're gonna be able to increase our security efforts at all of our athletic events and other student activities. So Mrs. Darby, kind of tell us what this is gonna look like for our high school students at our upcoming events. Okay, so every student at Altus High School will be issued a student ID and we're in the process of doing that this week. Um, when students attend a student activity, they will be required to have their badge on them okay. um, to enter the game. There still is a cost, they still will pay the entry fee to that event, okay. um, and that just ensures security. Awesome, and I think that's a great idea. Uh, it's beneficial to everyone that attends. Uh, so our high school students will have the ID, uh, what about students say they're coming to the next football game, which by the way is? August 25th, we play Elk City at home. A week from Friday, okay, so hopefully everybody can come out and support the first home football game. Uh, but say students 8th grade and below, or any child 8th grade and below, what's going to be the procedure for them coming to our events? Absolutely, so what, what we're going to do for those children through 8th grade, they will uh, need to be accompanied by a parent or guardian to the events and be sitting with that parent or guardian throughout the uh, event, the uh, sporting event or whatever event it is. Awesome, I think that's going to be very beneficial to everybody involved. It's just. Uh, 
keeps us more safe and that we can all enjoy the event so much better. Very exciting. Uh, so this process has already started. Will there be a cost to our high school students to get their ID? No, the first ID badge will be issued for free. If a student loses their ID badge, then only the cost of $5 to the student. Okay, so same as with the faculty and staff. Yes. Well, I think it's a great idea. Hopefully the rollout goes well and we'll have them all in place for our first event. Well, uh, we're off to a great start. Thanks for all your hard work making it happen. Uh, we've had a great first few days of school. Thank you for your efforts. I know it took a lot of planning on your part and a lot of extra effort, so thank you so much. Also, very excited for all of our events that have already started. High school uh, softball, high school volleyball, they're off to a great start. Yes, a great they are. season already. Very proud of them. Junior high is off to a great start as well with volleyball and softball. Uh, we have our first. Um, Cross country meet this coming Saturday, and then, like you said, football is a week from Friday. We yes, play York City here at yeah. the Rock, so we want everybody to come out. It's a new season, a new time. I hear we have 88 uh, high school football players, so it's going to be a great opportunity to come out, and support the band, support uh, our Palm Squad, our cheerleaders, football. It's going to be a great, great night. Uh, first night of uh, high school football, and as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.